So this patient unfortunately had a slip and fall about uh, a week or so ago. He has a very large hematoma that's ir irritating his eye to a certain extent. Um, you can see how swollen is. There's no freezing in this right now. This is where it was ruptured a little bit. Um, so because uh, he's having trouble with it and it's his face, we're going to see if we can just open this up a little bit, evacuate what is in here. So we'd expect this to be all clot. So it's what should come out is like a red current sort of jelly looking material. And then see if we can irrigate this and then stitch it closed. Now, if this wasn't here, we had an abrasion and probably a breakage of the skin here. I would try and incise it around his eyebrow just so we can hide it a bit better. But I think if we can just do a small incision here, because this is probably going to have some scarring with it anyway, um, maybe just as well as well. So um, I'm going to add some freezing here. We've already added some topical antiseptic. So here again, like if you do cysts, we want it to be very superficial. So you're going to feel a poke here. I apologize. You're going to feel a burning. You okay? Mm-hmm. I really want just the bevel to go in. And the more I fill into that space, the more uncomfortable it is for the patient. So check that freezing one second. Does that hurt when I do that? No. So this is our number 11 blade here. is what we'd expect to come out, like a thick. Is that too uncomfortable? No, I'm good. So much like when we rupture cysts, what we have to look at is the tensile strength being generated by the underlying thick clotting material versus the size of the actual space we have. Try and push on that a little bit. If I can't squeeze it out, I'm going to widen that up a bit. Just like that. I'm starting to drain. See that clotted material? You're okay? Oh, good. But Ashley, you got to go to a different spa. <laughs> <laughs> So this is the balance between trying to see if I can get as much out as possible. There we go. Now you see that? That's what I wanted to get out. Nice. So just like with infected material, that's what we'd expect to get out there. You okay? Yep. So now I want to irrigate this in part to clean it, but also to see if we can dislodge more clot material. So I'm going to reinflate it. It's not hurting too much? No. I'm good. That is good. time. And here I try to change the angle just a little bit. 
only because I'm trying to disrupt, again, clot from various walls. It's a three-dimensional structure. Sorry about getting you a bit wet. Not to worry. I just got out of the shower. So that looks pretty good. So you can see how that the whole swelling's down. So now we're just going to put in a couple of stitches through here. So then I'm going to tell you about stitch material here. There's various types of non-absorbable stitch. Um, you could use nylon, could use proline. A couple studies have shown, so I'm going to use proline, which is this material here. Um, nylon's a great substance. But some studies have shown it has a little bit more of an inflammatory effect. So in areas like um, the face in particular, I want to minimize that as much as possible. So in these cases, I prefer proline. So here I do my three loops. I did it, I caught my thread, and I pulled it through. So one of the things I could choose to do here is just trim my, my thread right from the beginning, because I already know I'm going to use a couple of stitches. these I just clip a little bit short. And again we're kind of handcuffed today because there's only one person helping me today so she's trying to help dab and run the camera at the same time. So again harder to see sometimes with thin material but this is your V set up here so we do three loops around so this locks. Grab the tail end here and pull that. I don't want to pull it very tight just so it lays and approximates the tissue. Because otherwise we just cause unnecessary bunching. Should be pretty good. So I'll leave those ones alone and then we'll see them back in a while then do follow up. So this is follow up of the hematoma that we evacuated. So you can see from an anterior perspective um, that the alignment's good and that's healed nicely since it's two stitches still. Then we're going to take those out today, but that's a good result.